Because I know a, a lot of what you guys do is, is want to sort of give uh, these college hunks, so to speak, an opportunity to develop their entrepreneurial yep. skills. Yep, yep, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a big kind of... Uh, Where are we, by the way, real quick? Yeah, we're, uh, the, Coast, the Coast Guard uh, <laughs> uh, flying by. So we're in uh, an area of Washington, D.C. called Calorama. It's a really nice uh, uh, part of D.C. A lot of big wigs live around here. What I like about it is just Quiet. You don't yeah. hear all the fire trucks and yeah, you get the helicopter car horns. You do, have, you do have the helicopter. <laughs> we are in DC right, after right, all. right, and a Coast Guard helicopter. Coast Guard none, one. None. Yep. Sometimes you'll see the president or vice president flying over too. Oh. Um, what were we saying? We're talking about uh, young entrepreneurs, cats that don't necessarily fit right uh, in a specific. Right, right, right. Um, so, I mean, I think a lot of it is just is is following your passion, and and you know, if school doesn't work for you, doesn't mean that you don't have something that you can do later in life. Um, I think the one thing that most successful entrepreneurs have is grit. You know, yeah. it's not about how smart you are, it's not about how much you know, it's not about how much money you have, but you know, the grittiest folks right. are usually the ones that are the most successful. I think that's something that Gary uh, Vanderchuk talks about a lot, yeah. a lot too. Getting your hands dirty, putting in the work. Putting in the work, yeah. that's what it is. Yep. I feel yep. like that's a, be yeah, it's a wonderful sort of thing to know, because like, you, can, you can be lost, but you don't, know, you don't know what to do. It's just put your head down. Yeah, I mean, look, you know, talk to folks that are successful, get out of your comfort zone. Yeah. That's probably the, the, the one of the most important things is, is, you know, the opportunities happen when you get outside of your comfort zone. Yeah. Um, when I was growing up, when I was, you know, the summer before my senior year, we started the business, my comfort zone was sitting on the couch playing video games all day. Yeah, yeah, it like wasn't going around in a beat up cargo van that had no air conditioning and, and hauling junk. Right. But, you know, we did that that summer, got out of our comfort zone. And uh, so, what 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 happened. what sort of uh, motivated you to get off the couch? Well, my mom said, "There you go. Hey, you're not sitting on the couch, man. You got to get a job. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I, I'd done all the typical college jobs, you know, waiting tables, working at the mall. Right. And I was like, I'm not doing that this year. Uh, I want to try something different. She had this beat up cargo van that she would use for her furniture store yep. for deliveries. Borrowed that, put up some flyers around the neighborhood. Actually this neighborhood being one of the first neighborhoods we fly we put flyers in uh -huh. and got a call that night saying hey really? I need some junk picked up so it's just about it's about doing huh it's about doing it oh yeah um did you think when you started that summer with your mom's beat up van that you were going to grow an empire no definitely not no. definitely not uh it wasn't until so I went back to school my senior year at Miami and uh, I enrolled in an entrepreneurship class. I okay. didn't even know what an entrepreneur was okay. until that summer. People were like, oh, this is a real entrepreneurial thing you're doing. Right. So what the heck is an entrepreneur? <laughs> um, so school is kind of important in some ways where you can help define, define who you that's are true. in some ways. And, you know, huh? Yeah, I guess having said that school is not important, I wouldn't be where I am today if it weren't for the University of Miami because uh, I enrolled in this class and the professor made an announcement that there was a business plan competition open to the entire university and that first place uh, would get awarded ten thousand yeah. dollars and I uh, told some of my friends at school I was like hey I want to write a business plan for a company called College Hunks Hauling Junk yeah. and they said man that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard sure. you're never going to win and I <laughs> called my buddy uh, who's now my business partner Nick yeah. and I was like hey man I'm thinking about writing this business plan but people are saying it's, it's not a good idea he's like dude you could win that business plan you need to do it right get out of your comfort zone I'll so uh, another thing support somebody who believes in you somebody who encourages you, you. you know the other thing is like you know friends and family when you are going to take some sort of risky venture right yeah. whether it's start a business or whatever it might be quit your job you know they Just they might uh circle. they they may they don't want to it's not that they don't want you to succeed it's that they don't want to see you fail right, right? they love you they, they have your best interest so right. sometimes you're not going to get that support from friends and family and you just have to you know push through push yourself yeah. and, and put that effort in so anyway wrote the business plan and, and it ended up winning first place and ten thousand dollars and i got a big happy gilmore check uh, <laughs> and the rest is history the rest is kind of history i still came back to dc having done that and uh worked the business but nick and i both got corporate jobs up here in dc and we were pretty miserable. We All were right. working. Speaking of miserable, because we're coming up on the end here, yeah. you're one of the smiliest guys I know. I am? Yeah. I, you yeah, know, yeah you're always smiling. To... It's very positive yeah, energy. I try. I like to smile, man. It's good. got to be positive, always. Before leaving the house, I said to my wife, what should I ask this guy? She, she said, uh, ask him if he's happy. <laughs> and I was like, what kind of question? And I was like, that's not a bad question. I'm happy. You know, you're yeah. stressed, stressed at times, but overall right. pretty happy.
Right. Yes, sir. So we're coming up on the end. I have this thing called the wow moment, words of wisdom. Okay. Uh, I don't know, man, if you want to plug something or give a oh, shout geez. out or impart some wisdom. Well, you know, being that I'm in DC, I gotta, and, and not too far from where my mom's store was, uh, I gotta give a shout out to my mom because if it wasn't for her van and her furniture store and being the small business owner that she was, I wouldn't be where I am today. So mom, Lynn Skynear, this is for you. Thank you very much. Can you say bye to the folks at home? Bye, folks at home. Take it easy. See you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.